Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. MathBlog here. Uh, this is uh, lesson 10.3, generating equivalent expressions. All right, let's get started. So our common core strand is right here. So one of them is applying the properties of operation to generate equivalent expressions. Then identify parts of an expression using math terms like sum, term, product, factor, quotient, coefficient. We'll do all of that. Uh, view one or more parts of an expression as a single entity and then identify when the two expressions are equivalent uh, which means uh, when the two expressions uh, name the same number regardless of uh, which value is substituted into them so we'll do a little bit of that also in this lesson and so how can we identify and write equivalent expressions so let's go ahead and um, access some prior knowledge here's our good friend the distributive property and so what we can do is distribute when we have a times a quantity B plus C then it's A times B plus A times C so that's what this is and then we can do that go in the backwards uh, motion right here if we see this then we can pull the A out and make it look like this that's called the distributive property also right there okay the commutative property is um, uh, for example like like A plus B is equal to B plus A what they're doing is commuting around the addition sign like when I drive to work, I commute to work. These guys are commuting around the addition sign. So A plus B is the same as B plus A, okay? And then uh, we have uh, the commutative property of multiplication. Same thing. They're commuting around the multiplication sign. So here we have uh, two lists of uh, expressions here. So evaluate each expression in the two lists for x equals 3. And then we'll match the expression in list A with list B. So which one will give us the same when we plug in 3? So let's plug in that 3 for all those x's right there. Okay, so all right, let's do it one at a time. So now I'm going to go over here. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 65. So we get 15 plus 65, which is 80. All right, now we plugged in 3 right here. So 3 plus 1. So 5 times 3 plus 1. So now we have to do the parentheses first. 3 plus 1 equals 4. So we have 5 times 4, which is 20. Okay, and then we plugged in 3 right here next to the 5. So we've got to multiply first. 5 times 3 is 15, and then we do 1 plus 15. Okay, 1 plus 15 is 16. All right, let's see what we get over here when we plug in x equals 3 right here. So 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. Okay, uh, and then so when we see that, I can see that this this expression gave us the same value as this expression right here. Okay, so 1 plus 5x gives us the same expression as 5x plus 1. All right, let's do this right here, you guys. Now we're going to do 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 5, okay, we get 20 right there, okay? So we can see, you guys, that here's 20, here's 20. So 5 times x plus 1 is the same as 5x plus 5 when we plugged in x equals 3. All right, let's plug in x equals 3 right here. So we get 5 times uh, 3 uh, plus 1 is 16. And over here, we have to add these first. 3 plus uh, 13, or 13 plus 3 is 16. So 16 plus, uh, times 5, or did I say 16? should be 16. Yeah, 16. Sorry, I made a typo right there. That should be a 16 right there. Okay, and then so we get, uh, uh, that's going to equal... Uh, 5 times 16, well, I know uh, 5 times 8 is 40, so 5 times 16 is going to be twice what uh, uh, 5 times 8 is, because 8 is um, uh, half of 16 right there, and we have to fix that right there. So, anyway, so we can see that um, uh, those guys match up. Sorry, i got to keep fixing this right here. Okay, we get 80 on both of those, and then we get uh, both of those guys match up up there, because that's what gave us the 80 right there. Okay, and then um, uh, I can see that those guys match up and those guys match up, so uh, those expressions are the equivalent expressions right there, okay? All right, I'll fix that later. So <clears throat> we can also use algebra tiles or any model to de uh, determine if two expressions are equivalent. So let's determine if these expressions are equivalent. Three parentheses x plus two, so... 3 times the quantity x plus 2, is that equivalent to 3x plus 6? Okay, so I'm going to let uh, triangles be x and let 1s be 
uh, the, the red circles right there. So let's model three of the x plus twos. Okay, so what I'm going to do is for one x plus two, here's an x, and then we'll have two circles for the x plus two. So x plus two reds, and then we'll do three of them. Okay, we're going to there's three of the x plus the two circles right there, okay? The triangle plus the two circles. There's my three. Uh, here's one x plus two. Here's one x plus two. Here's one x plus two. So there's three of them that are x plus two. Now let's do the same thing with this guy. We're going to do three of the x's, so three of the triangles plus six circles right there okay so there that is right there and then now let's compare those guys okay so uh, each expression has three of the x triangles so look this has one two three of the x triangles and they all of them have, and this one has three of the x triangles and all of them have six red circles right there so that means that they're equivalent to each other okay so another way is to plug in any number to see if they're equivalent. And zero is always a good number. Check this out. If we plugged in zero into three times zero plus two, that would be three times two, which is six. And the other expression is three x plus six. So three times zero plus six is zero plus six or six. So we get six on both of those. Zero is a good number to check. So is one. One's another good number you can check. That's a good testing strategy. All right, so use the properties of operation to determine if the expressions are equivalent or not. Here's the first one. Okay, so it looks like, let's do the properties of equality, uh, properties of operation. Let's distribute the 3 through. So 3x minus, and then 3 times 2 is 6. Is that equal to 3x minus 6? It sure is. So, so they are equivalent expressions. Okay, let's do the same thing with this guy right here. In fact, I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to do 1 half times x and then 1 half times 4. Well, 1 half times 4 is the same as 1 half of 4, which is 2. Okay, so we get 1 half x plus 2. All right, and then we'll just move it back around. Now, your book did this. I didn't do this. That's what I would have done in the first place. You wouldn't have had to do both steps. You could have done 1 half times 4 is 2, and then 1 half times x is x. Okay. So is 2 plus 1 half x equal to 2 plus x? No, they are not equivalent expressions right there. Okay, they're not the same. All right, so let's simplify these guys. We're going to use our properties of equality. I'm going to use the, the reverse distributive property. So here these both have an x squared. So I'm going to pull out the x squared, and we're left with 6 minus 4 right there. Okay, so 6 minus 4 is 2, which is 2x squared. So that simplifies to 2x squared. Okay, and it's called combining like terms. We're going to talk about that more in the next few lessons. So we have 6x squareds, 4x squareds. These guys are like terms because they have the same variables to the same powers. So we can just subtract these coefficients. So 6 minus 4 gives us as 2, so there's 2 of the x squareds. Okay, here, let's distribute the 2 through. So 2b plus, uh, what's that, 10a when we distribute that 2 through. Okay, so... Uh, we get that, and then now we're going to combine the like terms. The like terms are the a's. There's 3 a's plus 10 a's. That means there's going to be 13 a's, okay? So combining like terms. There it is, simplified. Typically, you put it in alphabetical order. A comes before b, so 13 a would come first before 2 b. All right, so same thing. Let's combine like terms. I'm going to do the same thing with it. Now, let's do the x's. So 11x minus 7x. What's that? Four of them, four x's, and then y plus seven y is eight y. X comes before y, so four x plus eight y. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and, and we're going to be doing a lot more combining like terms. Take care, you guys.